I bought a 2004 Lexus SC430 convertible with 115,000 miles. Are they worth owning? Are they expensive to maintain? And we'll talk about some of the pros and cons. Hello everybody, it's Mike, the Bald Adonis. Boom! If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Mike the Baldadonis and I talk about many different topics. Sharing life experiences one video at a time is my motto. I talk about me being in my early 20s doing five years and three months in prison for a first time drug offense. Only to get out unhappy with my body, I decided to do steroids, gain 105 pounds of pure muscle only to have a heart attack and other steroid related health issues. I currently deal with migraines and vertigo from today's environmental pollution, today's foods and VOCs. I buy and sell cars as a hobby and I bring you guys along with me showing you the pros and cons of each vehicle that I buy. I have Dr. Peter Pococo, he's my mentor, the reason why I'm on YouTube and he talks about inspiration. I have Gary from the gym, he talks about conspiracy theories and I bring other people on board sharing their interesting life stories as well. Hey guys, I've been trying to get this car video up for two months. I bought this car back in November, November 19th, I think. And uh, well, with things going on, winter's coming in here in the Boston area. I live 30 miles from Boston. I did grow up in Boston, but I live 30 miles away. Anyways, winter's here, snow, rain, holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, the crap with the Capitol, the riots, the election, COVID, geez, I bought another car, a Mini Cooper S. So that's what I do. I live on Craigslist, I live on Market Basket. Yeah, Market Basket, I live on my Facebook Marketplace. So I'm always looking for cars. Now, when I buy cars, I'm transparent to the person that I'm talking to. I let them know I'm buying their car because I'm reselling it. So I try to buy the nicest car possible for the right amount of money. Um, they usually, don't sell their cars to me for what they're asking for because I'm trying to flip it. And sometimes it works and most of the time it doesn't. But sometimes when it does, I do find some nice cars. And this Lexus, I've been looking for about two years. I've always seen them on the highway and I'm thinking, oh, those are pretty nice. There's a few of them that are just butt ugly with certain color combinations. Um, I like the silver with the black with the dark wood um, interior. I think it's very classy looking. Now, I've never driven one of these. I've owned many Lexus cars. Um, I'm a sports car type of guy. Um, but whatever I see, whatever I think I can make a profit on, I will try to buy it. Or if it's something I never owned before, just to own it, you know, that's what I like to do. Um, I'm an enthusiast, I'm a car enthusiast. That's all I am. So when I talk to Carlos, I told him all about myself. I told him he can check me out on YouTube. And then he told me that he's on YouTube and he talks about inspiration. And I really enjoy that because sometimes we all, I think we all need inspiration. And what he does, or what he did, he had a 1,000 day challenge. And he put up one minute inspirational videos. So I'm gonna link a description into the, I'm gonna put a link in the description for his channel. If you get a chance, check him out. He's a sweetheart, super nice guy. And uh, as I was talking to him, trying to negotiate the price, and I asked him about the time about. That's the first thing you should ask on a Lexus um, V8. When was the time about done? And he couldn't prove that it was done. He he knew it was done around 92,000 miles from the the owner that he bought it from, but he wasn't absolutely sure. But he does have plenty of receipts or maintenance records from Lexus since he owned the car. He's owned it for three years, about 9,000 miles he put on it. It was just his summer car. Um, so the car is well kept, but that time and belt, that was the mystery. So he took it to another shop and I'm gonna throw this shop right under the bus. Hannibal so Carlos took his car into Hannibal Auto Repair in Boston, Massachusetts and asked him if they could check out time and belt. Well, they did, they just replaced it. They didn't look at the sticker that was on the car that was done previously 19,000 miles ago. Uh, so they ended up charging $830 for a brand new water pump and a brand new belt, which was unnecessary. And I feel bad for Carlos because 
you know, he just lost $850 or $830 making a deal with me, um, unfortunately. But it, I believe it just kept his mind at ease knowing that, the, that it was done. And I want to thank you, Carlos, for doing that. Um, you're a stand-up guy. You're like a super nice guy. So I was asking about the brakes as well. And the shop said the brakes are fine, all right? No more wear and tear. But when you stop, the car steering wheel jiggles. That means the rotors are no good. They're warped. Now, he did have this at Lexus over the summer and had them check the whole car out. Lexus wanted to charge just for the front rotors and pads, $580, $580. I was like, wow, that's, that's, that's crazy. Now, I have several people that I take my cars to. I have IGA around the corner, my friend Kevin up in Manchester, and my friend Peter, he does my work for free. Now I called Kevin first and I asked him, what can you do for my brakes? What's, what are you gonna charge me? because I put him in my videos, he's not charging me any labor just for the parts. And I got his discount for the parts. So I spent $232 for all four rotors, all four pads. So while the car was at Kevin's, I asked him to rebalance the tires and see if the rims are bent. Two wheels were definitely suspicious. One was definitely bent. You can see a little wobble. One was questionable. So um, he said, have them fixed. If you don't like them, come back and grab two more tires. We'll put two more tires on there. I was like, all right, cool. So I went to Quicksilver. They didn't refurbish, but they took the dents out out of two wheels. Not 100%, but pretty close. I was much happier with the ride. I was very satisfied, but I'm anal with certain cars on the way they handle and the way they feel. You know, I'm in a Lexus. I want that thing as smooth as possible. So after a month, the tires finally came in. I went up to Kevin's. And while I was there, they're like, you don't need two tires. I'm like, well, I'm still feeling a little wiggle. It's like, no, your tires are fine. The, you know, they, they worn in a little bit. You should be good. But let's rebalance them to see how you like it. So he saved me money on that. And um, when they rebalanced them, they didn't do it right, unfortunately. Kevin has a shop that's very busy with just tires. Tires, 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 tires. And sometimes the machines don't always, you know, uh, accurate. So when I was driving home, unfortunately, the tires were actually worse wobbled than when they were when I was driving up. So I, instead of calling them back in and bothering them, my friends over here, IGA, uh, I brought the car over there. I had to get the car inspected anyways. So we put up on the lift, we got the tires off, and unfortunately, the other shop, Kevin's shop, put too much weight on the wheels and it was throwing it unbalanced. So we just simply redid the wheels again and the car came out much, much better. So I want to thank IGA for that. Um, and when I had the car, I, I did not know if the spark plugs were done. So for $58, I had the spark plugs done for free. My friend Peter came down, took him 30 minutes, banged that out. Uh, yeah, so the car is in really, really nice shape. Um, unfortunately, uh, not unfortunately, but some uh, there were some scratches in there. There's a couple little dents in there. Uh, I would think this car is like uh, eight and a half to nine, you know what I mean, in condition. So we'll, let's talk about some of the pros and cons. High resale, these do not lose money. They're only going up in price. They're modern, collectible cars. Two, the hard top, so much quieter in the cabin versus a soft top. The interior is luxury, so nice. The seats are very comfortable. I'm six foot four, and the way with that bubbled roof there's so much headroom uh, maybe not so much headroom but there's enough headroom that i'm very comfortable in the car and for a big goofy car it handles really well it has a great steering radius and you'd be surprised on how well this car really handles and it's very quick with 300 horsepower it hauls ass the cons it's a v8 so it sucks down the gas two it has a small back seat it's pretty useless three the navigation and the stereo system are old so I would definitely update that and get a backup camera because you have blind spots and you can't see behind you. Um, other than that, you know, these cars are fantastic. They're bulletproof, bulletproof. And everybody that's seen this car loves, loves, loves the look of it.
and I'm very happy with the purchase of it. I want to thank Carlos, first of all. Thank you for sending me your inspirational book. I read it every day. All right. And I want to thank Kevin. Thank you very much for putting my brakes in and helping me out with the tires the best you can. And I want to thank IGA for, unfortunately, they had just rebalanced them again. But IGA always takes care of me. And that's about it for today, guys. So until the next video, ball down us out.